accounting for partnership firm. Yeah, new topic. And you know, this new topic is giving you a confidence that you have done with the sole proprietorship. Yes, you have done with the sole proprietorship accounting. So now we are entering into the partnership accounting. Good. You have grown up in accounting. Great. Well, so when we say partnership accounting, we differentiate the accounting system that we are adopting in partnership with the accounting system that we have studied for sole proprietorship. Okay. So in fact, this module is about discussing that very difference. So that very difference is in fact the preparation of profit distribution statement, which is also known as profit and loss appropriation account. Okay. This is the only difference in between the accounting system that we have already learned under the sole proprietorship and the accounting system that we are going to learn under this partnership business system. So be confident that rest of the accounting would remain same. Well, so when we say profit distribution statement, so there are some basis based on which the partners distribute profit among themselves. Number one is interest on capital. When we say interest on capital, it was not in fact the issue under sole proprietorship. Why? Because there was only one partner. In a way, there was only one owner. Okay. And whatsoever the capital he was bringing, that was the sole equity of that organization. But now, different partners would be bringing different amount of capital in the business. And now they will be assuming or expecting in a way that their profit sharing should be based on the amount of capital contributed. Okay. So what we do for that reason, a part of the profit is distributed among the partners by giving them interest on their amount of capital contributed. We work out this issue in a practice question. Then, when different partners are performing different services, there arises an issue of profit distribution. In order to resolve that issue, we assign a salary to each partner who is performing his or her services for the business. So a part of net profit, which will be calculated in the same way as we have already learned under the sole proprietorship style of business, that net profit will be divided among the partners now in this partnership firm according to their assigned salaries. And the third thing is different partners would be having different level of experience or they would be having different contacts based on which the business would be running on. So person or the partner who is more experienced having more business contacts would be given more profit share based on a ratio. So interest on capital, partner salary and profit sharing ratio are in fact the basis of distribution and these are the reasons behind that. We also work out interest on drawing. The reason is that we feel that had the drawings not been made by the partners, the firm would have earned more profits. That's why what we do before sharing profit or distributing profit among the partners, we apply interest rate on drawings and add 
this amount in the total amount of net profit okay by doing this the profit increases and then we distribute that profit among the partners all right so the important tip to remember in this module is that the only difference among sole proprietorship accounting and partnership accounting is that there are partners now and they need profit to be distributed okay before there was only one owner and altogether the profit was for that owner now each partner is requiring his or her share in that profit and the second thing is that its solution is to have a profit distribution statement so in the next modules we will learn how to prepare this profit distribution statement thank you